Good morning, guys. Guess what day it is? Harry? Travel day. It's travel day. It's travel day of our UK road trip. Um, day one, we're just heading off in the car and we're going off to Chessington World of Adventures. Um, for those of you who don't know me, I'm Diane. This one's Harry. This one's David. And Emily's in the back. And we are UK Disney Vlog. We should be flying out to Orlando this morning, but we're having an amazing road trip instead. But we are just stuck in some traffic, and so we'll see you at Chessington. And if we stop along the way, we'll take you with us. See you in a bit. Welcome to Chessington World of Adventures. We have just arrived. Um, queues were about too bad to get in. Traffic was okay. It took us about four hours to get here. We're a little bit, um, yeah. Don't know where anything is. It's hard to, nav to navigate around when you've never been here before. I suppose when it's your local park, you know what you're doing. So apparently we're heading for Vampire. I think it's a two hour queue at the minute. We're gonna have some lunch while we're in the queue. So. Let's take you with us. Excited? Yeah, I just saw Vampire go fast. Did you? Yeah. Cool. Not quite sure what any of this area is yet. I think we'll get find our feet today and then make the most of it again tomorrow when we're here again tomorrow. But this. as we go as you would have seen I wish Harry would eat sandwiches it would make life so much easier the queue time like I said was about supposed to be about two hours we'll see how it goes quite cool theming on the queue though it was very cool for Scarefest it would be awesome for that yeah what is it called Scarefest here? I don't know it's called Halloween anyway time said it was supposed to be 120 minutes we actually waited about 60 65 minutes which wasn't too bad it's a cute little ride yeah it's good it's really good actually yeah it was it's a very very jerky ride but it was really really cool It's riding school, it was really cool, but we've just got off the monkey swinger, which is the one behind me, it's currently not riding. I did not realise that that was a water ride as well. I got absolutely soaked! I need to show you David as well, but we both got absolutely drenched. And um, now very, 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 very dizzy. Would you enjoy that? Yeah. Let me show you David. You had a bit of an accident there, mate. That, that wasn't the ride. This is, it probably was. Now I think we're going to go for a quick cup of coffee and a treat maybe. Let's see what we can find. And dry off. Yeah, and dry off.
Just heading on to Crop Drop. 70 minute wait apparently. Let's see how we get on. Just got off Crop Drop. That was the longest, worst queue I have ever been in. So we came here to choose a quiet spot to vlog. Sorry, so as I was saying, just got off Croc Drop. Right itself, so right. It's it's just a drop tower. Not the best drop tower in the world. Um, this certainly can't beat the Tower of Terror. Um, that queue was just painful painfully 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 long and um, did not enjoy that one little bit sorry i'm trying to get over this fence very unsuccessfully and very unladylike the car is parked over there so as i was saying the crack drop queue was about 70 minutes long um, they've got a obviously ride access queue a fast pass queue or fast track queue whatever they call them and then the normal queue so they pick like the ride 616 and they pick four from each one. So if you imagine every cycle takes about seven minutes and they only pick four from each, it just doesn't move. It really doesn't move. I will not be rushing back to Croc Drop unless it's a walk on, I'm afraid. I know it's the new ride for the season and it's quite fun. Obviously it's more, we like thrill rides. What can we say? It's just compared to the Tower of Terror. And obviously when you've done, um, the big one at Bush Gardens, yeah, it doesn't really compare, but it's a cute ride, great for the new season. Um, it just needs to, I don't know, a bit taller would have been great. I think that would have been better. So we are heading back to the car. We're heading out of Chessington. We've been here for a good many hours. Um, it's now five o'clock in the evening. So we're gonna head over to the Premier Inn where we're gonna go for the night because we are back here at Chessington tomorrow. So let's go to the Premier Inn. How far away is Fort Park from here? So we're all checked into our hotel. It's actually lovely a lot. Um, the location is really, really nice. Um, I just wanted to do a very quick room tour. I know it's a, it's a standard Premier Inn, but it's not. It looks like it's been sort of refurbed. It's a bit more modern than that we've stayed in recently. So obviously we've got the bathroom, all nice and clean, looks fresh. Um, yeah, really nice sort of wooden floors on it. Nice wooden panelling and obviously a nice mirror. Logger's wave. But the one thing that we really wanted to show you is they've got bedside tables for each of the... Has that one got one? Yeah, but, well, no table. So no table. That. So obviously the table has been moved. But they've got bedside tables and they all have USB sockets at each of the bedsides and a table here. Um, light on this side and the USB uh, port there. I assume that would possibly be the table that you could put over there. The kids have got single beds. And Shahari, what's out the window? Rabbit. We have got a view of a rugby pitch and some rabbits. Where are they gone? There's yeah. only one, there's one there. There's a little I'm... rabbit over there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, really nice lovely. fresh room. Nice big telly. Ooh, I like the lamp. Nice big telly on wall. Some more, sorry, USB ports and <laughs> some extra plugs, which is all good. That's a HDMI. Sorry. It's USB. HDMI. HDMI. Tell you. What, what do you reckon to the room? It's nice. Nice big room. Big thumbs up from us. We're going to sort some stuff out and then either order some food or go to the pub next door for dinner. I think we're thinking of pizza. Is that, what's that? That's your biggest fan. <laughs> <laughs> the jokes are bad. Apologies for the jokes. Bad joke. Um, yeah, let's sort some food out, um, sort our stuff out, and go from there. Look at you on the boudoir. What? I didn't, I wasn't. <laughs> Dinner's arrived. Floundering, I think the word is. Garlic bread, chips, pizza, pizza. I've got lots of supplies. Mud. We've got and cider and a glass of wine, hotel style. But we 
we've got ice. That's all that matters. So it is much, much later. Domino's was amazing. We had, I had a bit of a glass of wine. David had some cider. Kids had some soft drinks. The only way we could get them cold is we bought a giant bag of ice and put it in the cool bag. It's slowly starting to melt like we are in this room because it's exceptionally hot. Um, it's about 10 o'clock at night. Harry is absolutely wired. I won't show you him because he's jumping around in his pants. Um, but we are going to go to bed. Great first day, but really, really, really tired. I'm heading back to Chessington in the morning, so we will catch you tomorrow. Um, thanks for watching this video, guys. Don't forget to give it a big thumbs up, leave in the comments down below, and click like and subscribe. I'll see you in